the king passed a decree. I said, whenever Herman is passing, everybody must bow the knee. Mordecai stubbornly refused. You know, I'm surprised that the church of Jesus Christ is no longer confrontational. If you try to be confrontational, they tell you you don't have wisdom. They tell you you don't have wisdom. They say, my friend, you have zeal without knowledge. They say, be careful, be careful, be careful. What kind of carefulness is this? Mordecai refused to bow. He said, we don't worship human beings. They said, why? He said, I am a Jew. I am not a Jew guy. We don't worship anything we see. We worship Jehovah. That declaration and decision threw him into the fire of the wrath of Haman. I hope you know the decision and the stand you take for God will attract fire. And that's why we are saying you can't be on feet now. You need to be up and doing. Survival of the fittest are the ones that will survive on campus. Survival of the fittest. Only the fittest can survive in government offices today as a Christian. A friend of mine, a preacher, shared a story with me. He said he was having his midnight. The wife is a banker. Is a banker. They were negotiating promotion for the wife. Are we together? The wife unfortunately is one of these parboid Christians parboid Christians talk to me undone Christians uncooked Christians unformed Christians that are deformed the man was praying God took him as patrons to the office of the wife the bank premises, the office of the wife there and saw a man with what we call native doctor here a talisman are we together? a babalawo, mamalawo they were there making serious enchantment and invocations and demonic deposit on the seat of this woman that, that man understands that when a strong man is guiding his house are we together? the only person that can disarm him and take the goods is the strong guy did you get the parable? when promotion is negotiated only the fittest can take that promotion the woman was sleeping and snoring on his bed of roses. Thank God that the husband is a soldier. He entered there with an angel that guided him. The angel said, don't worry, they are not seeing us. I just want to show you what is going on. They want to strike your wife with stroke. If she enters here tomorrow and sits on this seat, you will bury her next to And then the angel carried him back. And then he came back to himself and saw Kai. He went and tapped the wife. The wife said, hey, 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 hey. Are we together? The wife was woken up by the husband. Say, honey, stand up. I saw something right now about you. She said, Holy Ghost, Father. You know, things we left in the traditional world. The kind of ritual we used to do when we were there. We brought it into the Christian. Holy Ghost fire. And she did like it. The husband said, no, no. Go and bath your face. Come, let's pray. 
she couldn't pray, God came back just because of his servant and said the only remedy is you go to her tomorrow morning to her office. Go with her, sorry, tomorrow morning to her office. And first of all, purge that office with prayers before she sees on that side. The day broke, the one man, man of God could not even sleep. He said, Banker, 5 30, 6 o'clock, she's already AM, she's already ready to go to work. The man of God followed her and then made some decrees and asked the wife to sit. The wife sat. He said, You can continue with your work. The man of God left. The man that did it was shocked. Because the, the, the talisman, the native doctor who did that, he gave him 1,000% guarantee and said, Just wait, let her see 